mouth to bring it to life. Yeah, so. Then. I guess we have to start mixing stuff. Because I'm also not sure why I walked out. Because we clearly need to be inside. And we go into the classroom. And now we have to do a bunch of alchemy. I hope. Um, actually, we don't have one thing. All that's left of the crocodile tear. On one side of the. Well. All that's. We have not located the dragon sweat. That is one thing, though. That I'm just thinking of. We don't, right? We have water. We have a cookie. A torn out note. Yes, we are indeed short. So that's a problem. Hmm. So, is there anything I'm missing? Probably am. Friedelin may have snow. A nickel plate, two inch, three hundred gram flat head chisel, right handed. Hmm. Well, I still also can't get in here unless Timmy can talk to this door, but I doubt it. Uh, I don't know about that part. Um, hello. What is the access code? Yeah, uh, I forgot I about that part. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess we have to record record from the magic slate. Please tell me you can do that. What can I do for you? Imitate voices, yes. Can you imitate voices? I can imitate the call of more than 17 birds. I'm more interested in human voices. I am sorry. I only have one voice at my disposal. A very pretty voice. Oh, uh, of course. I can, however, record speech. Record speech? What do you mean? Record speech? What do you mean? Fantastic! Fantastic! Okay, you, you, you can stop now. How does this recording thing work? I can record all of your conversations. If desired, I can play back only certain parts of the recording. You mean that if I can somehow get the headmaster to say 4, 60, 9 and 41 in conversation, you could repeat those numbers in his voice? Correct. Excellent. Uh... 4, 60, 9 and 41 are the numbers we need. Which ones do we have? None of the stated numbers have been recorded yet. Well, that's not very <laughs> No, neat. it's not. That's all. Well, I might have thanks. So I guess we go over to the end once more. Also, I wonder if we have to use... I guess it'll just automatically do it, right? Hey, Master Block? Yes. Hmm. Class photo? This photograph of a school class was in the wrong cupboard. I'd like to file it away correctly, but I don't know where. Show me that. It's in 1462. The year is written boldly and clearly. 1462. 62? Yes. 62. <laughs> ah, thanks for your help. That helps. Why did they appoint you, of all people, treasurer? Well, I think the leader of the council values my punctilious manner and neat bookkeeping. In addition, I was, if I may be so bold as to simply come out and say it, mathematics champion for several years in succession in my youth. But 
only in your youth. So you were a mathematics champion in your youth? For several years in succession, in fact. Hmm. Then tell me, what is... Oh dear. I'm going to have to actually get some kind of some which will yeah uh, basically amount to one of the numbers we need so we need what was it we needed 60 which we have we needed 41 and 4 I forget the other number so I don't know 17 minus uh, 17 minus 27 plus... 14? No. 33? 23. Yes, that's what I get too. Okay, so that's going to be one. Would you please say the word nine, Headmaster Block? No, why should I? Just because? Professor Weathervane, it may be that you pass your evenings with silliness, but I prefer to be productive in the twilight hours. Of course. Forgive me. <laughs> How many rings of power did the humans get? Yes, let's go with that. How many rings of power did the humans get again? What are you talking about? In that saying. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the dwarf lords in the halls of stone. You know. Never oh. heard of it. How can you not have heard of that? That's bad. I wonder whether we should hang up some balloons tomorrow morning for the school's inauguration. Red ones would be best. What do you think? What would be a typical number of red balloons? We don't have scope in the budget for balloons. I also find them rather unsuitable. 98 maybe? 99? I said no balloons. Hmm. I could really go for a nice dwarven ale about now. How about you? It would kill you on the spot. You do know that. Oh, I grew up with dwarves. The cellar master always served dwarven ale in the garrison pub. It's strictly forbidden. Who says? Licensing law, paragraph 9, section 1. Dwarven ale may only be served in specially secured underground bunkers. Paragraph 9 says that. Paragraph 9, indeed. Ah, the cellar master probably didn't know that. I'm going to send a carrier pigeon off to him tomorrow morning to warn him. <laughs> okay. A clear liquid, in a glass, in a bar, what could it be? Water. Um, sure, why not? A nice glass of cold water. It's warm water. I drink two glasses of warm water every evening. It helps the digestive process. Why don't you drink three glasses of water? Or four? Four glasses of water in one evening? That really would be decadent. Very decadent. Besides, you'd probably have to keep getting out of bed to go to the toilet. Yes. Four glasses of water would simply be too many. But it's good that we were able to talk about that. Yes, very helpful. I'm amazed by your math skills. I have one more problem for you. Well, hmm. <clears throat> so, right, one... Then thing what I do is? know is that we need 41 so I'm guessing all of these numbers were rather high so I'm, I'm assuming we have to start with 65 65 plus I don't know 23 because we definitely need a minus uh, a big minus 23 minus... Ooh, uh, it's 65, 23, so it ends in an 8, so we need a 7 at the end. So it's 47. 47? 41. Are you sure? I get 40. 41, without a doubt. Thanks, that's all I wanted. Cool. Have to be going. Goodbye. Let's just double check. That was rather productive. What can I do? Four, six.
60, 9 and 41 are the numbers we need. Which ones do we have? 4, 60, 9, 41. Now we have all of the numbers. Staff room, here we come. Yes, cool. Show me the list. Because we still need... Well, we have suit some amount. We have... Yeah, we still need dragon sweat. Uh, okay. So, let's go in. And then talk to the magic door. Um. What? Ahem! Would you please let me and Headmaster Block in? I only heard the footsteps of one person. 469. 41. Oh, pardon me, Headmaster Block. That's better. That works for me. So we finally go in. Wait, there was a rat hole? Cool, okay. I'll look at the chimney. Can we just create some fire so it at least is brighter in here? That would be nice. It's um quarter after thirty three o'clock twelve. The inauguration ceremony with the Archmage will be held here tomorrow morning at nine o'clock standard time. That would be eighty seven minus twelve in the morning and oh. I've just a couple of hours until the school's inauguration. Yeah. The fire's just embers. Wish I had some potatoes. I'm not sure I'd enjoy flying on a broom like that. I'm a little afraid of heights, and when I look at the handle, I can't imagine that it'd be comfortable to sit on. Yeah, well, you know, all the wizards don't seem to mind. <laughs> and a rat hole. But Timmy? That must be the rat hole Timmy used to get in. I didn't even notice it this afternoon. I think that's why rats make such good intelligence operatives. Nobody pays them any mind. Certainly seems to be true. So the desk and then the drawer, I'd say. I guess Timmy's already looked in the rat accessible files. He found the door code in one of them. Take the quill. Blocky won't mind if I borrow his pen. Well, he probably would. But he doesn't need yeah, to know. Yeah, he doesn't need to know. Exactly. And the drawer. Right then. Blocky was fiddling with this drawer when I surprised him. Hmm, a small bottle. What's this? A letter. Dear Council Leader Van Buren, rest assured of my fullest support during the election campaign. Nevertheless, as headmaster, it is my duty to point Article 47, Paragraph 6 of the school rules out. Advertising of any form is prohibited in the school, and I must insist that the entire campus be left out of the electoral campaign. And now, the final inventory list for the ground floor of the school. Then there's a list of all sorts of objects, although it appears Headmaster Block isn't quite finished yet. I'm impressed. The Headmaster forbids advertising in school, even if it is for Van Buren's campaign. Law and order seem more important to him than personal benefit. No. And yet he tries to badger me out of the school. Strange. Yeah, because there's a second one. So, the flask. If Wilbur doesn't get awfully confused. Oh boy, is he confused. <laughs> Calm down, boy. Okay, calm. The only thing in this drawer was this bottle. Dragon blood. Sweat. Spidery old-fashioned writing. Hard to decipher. Dragon sweat. Dragon sweat! What is the probability of the headmaster having the one ingredient for magic ink in his drawer that I couldn't find anywhere else? Talk about luck! It is pretty damn lucky. Okay, so is there anything else in the drawer? Hmm, I was expecting to find something here that would interest Remy. Instead, no bomb, no plan of attack, nothing. The headmaster seems to be the most law-abiding man in Seastone. Could he really be a danger to the Archmage? 
I'm pretty sure there's a law that prohibits murdering the Archmage. Why is he acting so strange? If he's not part of the plot against the Archmage, then who is? Yeah, good question. So I think now we just figure out the mixing part. Uh, so we go in here. There. It's We do have this two cent centiliter. All that's left of the crocodile tears is a bit of salt. This container of water. Of so tears. All right. Now two okay. cell of water so let's to the salt. Put it in the and pot. I have the right amount of crocodile tears. The concentration may be wrong, yeah. but I've never heard okay. of that playing a role in alchemy. It's the amount that counts, the amount's the thing. Two CL of crocodile tears. Looks well, good. no, not really. Well, the dragon's foot, let's just use it. Uh, I, I hope we'll be in the pot. a tiny, all tiny amount, but he's probably just going to chuck it all sweat. in, isn't he? And those are likely to be the most difficult to get. Okay, we don't get to see. That, that's that's fine. That's completely fine with me. Uh, okay, well, so exactly we know that that is three. See stone. And done. So we need two, which is bad. On one side of the scale, there's a three sea stone small ounce weight. On the other side. So we put one on there. On the one side is a three sea stone small ounce weight, and the pan on the other side holds the chocolate, which weighs two sea stone small ounces. Right then, the counterweight weighs exactly three sea stone small ounces. The chocolate weighs two sea stone small ounces. That means and that when we the weight is exactly in, right? the same That's on both sides, needed, I'll have added exactly one sea stone yeah. small ounce to the pan. And that would be the case right now. So now we just mix it. Exactly one sea stone small ounce. We're a mix master. Uh, you go. <laughs> that was. I'm actually kind of glad that they didn't make that super convoluted. Now to give it a little stir. I. Ta da! You know, Magic it ink. being an adventure game, I kind of expect that sort of stuff. <laughs> but I'm glad that that was not the case. So, uh, I'm gonna say we need to actually write a spell with the quill. I done the, the golem spell. Right then, what do I need to write on the piece of paper to bring the golem to life? Just live? Yes, in principle. But in golem language, and that's complicated. I'll dictate it to you. Grolop Grishna Kalabeb. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Grolop Grishna Kalabeb? Those are a lot of words for simple lit. Bringing dead material to life requires precise instructions. Sounds logical, so what now? Put the piece of paper in the golem's mouth. Yeah, that seems kind of the evil. The rest <laughs> happens automatically. But not before. Bringing half-finished golems to life is strongly discouraged. Okay. So, how about we go do that? The note in the complicated language of but the next time. <laughs> you may have seen that coming, but it just seems like a perfect life. moment, right? Because I'm expecting something big to happen when we, you know, get a live golem or something is going to explode or something huge is going to happen. And uh, I want that to be the focus of the next set. Uh, at least, you know, maybe nothing happens at all, but I really don't expect that. So something big is going to happen and I want that to be, yeah, what I'm going to be doing next episode because for now we did everything we needed to do here 
And we do have the golem, that was the entire thing. And he is going to do the tasks and set things in motion. So, uh, that was a lot of fun though, this game is phenomenally good. Uh, really want to just keep going and somehow it seems to be getting more and more interesting. I'm not sure how they're doing it, but they're doing it. Uh, but let's see next set, I'd say. Uh, so, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys next time. See you, dudes!